Welcome to the Wild About video series. Tune in each month as our town biologists share with you elements of nature and wildlife that are vital components to our ecosystem here on Kiowa Island. Welcome to Wild About Painted Buntings, part one, backyard banding. Painted Buntings returned to Kiowa in early April after spending the winter in South Florida, the Bahamas, and Cuba. Adult males generally arrive first to compete for the best territories and are followed by adult females and then juveniles. The eastern population of painted buntings has shown a steady long-term decline over the past several decades. Much of these declines can be attributed to the loss of coastal habitat. In 2011, town biologists began trapping and banding painted buntings in residential backyards for a long-term project to study their movements, distribution, and site fidelity. Painted bunnings readily come to feeders offering white millet, and the birds are easily captured in a specially designed cage with a feeder placed inside. Baby. First thing we're gonna do is put a band on it. And now that bird is gonna be marked for the rest of its life. All right, next thing we'll do is take a series of measurements. Uh, we'll measure the wing. And we'll measure the tarsus, which is the leg bone. Check for some fat. And we'll get a weight. And then I know based on plumage that this is a young bird that was born this summer. If we look at the wing here, these feathers have this little tan edging to them. Uh, that's an indication that this bird is, is a juvenile that was born this year. Actively nesting females can be identified by the presence of a brood patch. This patch of skin is well supplied with blood vessels that transfer heat to the eggs during incubation. Surveys from the last 10 years suggest a slight increase in Kiowa's painted bunting population. Despite this, coastal development and sea level rise remain significant threats. Continued research and monitoring of Kiowa's painted bunnings is vitally important to their long-term survival. Preserving and enhancing painted bunning habitat, especially along the marsh and dunes, will help ensure that future generations can enjoy these colorful migrants each summer.